weapons that I usually run at the beginning of the wipe. Usually, most of these guns can G tap tier 4. Um, and they're pretty cheap to build. They're around a, probably like 100k ish range. Because um, one or two of these guns you can get for a trade. Um, so let's get into this. So uh, it's just your basic SKS. Just run it like this. You can go to proper one, the proper one, buy it for 21k. Buy as many of these as you want to run in with you. And just right like that, easy day. That's probably the cheapest build you can get right there to start with wipe. And this taps, two taps armor. Right in the thorax. Uh, the second one is the Mosin, which I run for trying to get my sniper skill up early. And you can also get that from Rapport level 1. I usually just do the infantry. Because I like the iron sights on the infantry better than the carbine. Um, so we'll get into the more technical builds. So I like the VPO. The VPO is insane once you unlock the AP rounds. But in the beginning, I'll run that. You'll have to get Jaeger unlocked first, which he's probably my pry that I get unlocked. I'll go through and I'll scan everything. And then uh, you should hit level two by then, which then you just have to exit the game, restart it, go in, and then you'll have the task from mechanic to go to woods to find the letter for Jaeger. And once you complete that task, you unlock it. So you can buy this VPO from him. You get a third, uh, I think it's a 30 rounder. Yep, 30 round mag in it. And then you get all these, these uh, attachments. So you get the Bastion from, I think it's Skier 1. Yep, Skier 1, you get the Bastion. And then you also get the RK6, which is probably the cheapest one to build. Um, and then you can either throw the blue laser on it, if you'd like the blue laser. Or you can go over to Mechanic, and he has a level 1 attack laser. He has two different ones. He has the XC1 and the GL, but the GL is for the Glocks. So the only one you can put on uh, the rifles is the Surefire. So that's pretty much all those builds right there. Um, I'm, so easy way to put these together. So you come in here, take off the dust cover, and you have to take the VPO 209 sight off front sight. And then you'll be able to just throw that right on there. And then you have to take this handguard off. And you can put the HK or the H, the AK 100 handguard on it, which you can get from proper level one. And once you get that on there, you can throw the foregrip on. And then once you get that on, you can throw the sight on or the the tack tack attachment on, which goes right on the side there. And then uh, I forgot to add in that I get this sight because MRS is pretty much my personal opinion. It's my favorite uh, red dot. So you go in, uh, I think it's mechanic, no it's skier, skier level 1, so it's the, the MRS site for 13. So I get that, and throw that in there, and you do the exact same thing with the AKM. So you take off the front sight, the dust cover, and the handguard, and then you just Right in there. Hangar goes on. Grip goes on. Laser goes on. And the sight goes on. And then, uh, ammo wise, AKM is better, ammo wise. But you can also get, uh, once you unlock Jaeger, you unlock the, the FMJs, which the FMJs are terrible at early wipe. They're not great once you mid to late wipe. You want to run the APs in it. But this will still head tap 
They have two, three chest shots with tier three armor and lower. And most people aren't even going to run tier four in the beginning unless they have the U6. Um, and this is pretty much what I run beginning of the wipe. This is the cheapest and the most accessible to get. The only issue with the AKM uh, is uh, you go to prep four and it's a trade. So it's three of the mini Tushankas for the AKM. The only issue with that in the beginning of the wipe is you need, uh, I think it's 15 Tushankas to turn in. So if you have that cast completed, I'd barter this all day. Because it's full auto, single fire, has the range, has the close quarters, especially for the early wipe. I even run it late wipe, like right here, this is AKM. I run it late wipe, early wipe. It's a pretty overall good gun in my opinion. Everyone this wipe like the RDO4 and the Mutant's still probably the best 762 budget wise. I like the AKM. Alrighty, so that's tier one traders. So we'll crack in and we'll get into once you unlock tier two traders. Alrighty, so on the tier two, um, so you can get the. Why is it stuck on there? You can get the uh, the ump two different ways. You can flat out buy it at level two for 304 USD from Peacekeeper, or I believe it's mechanic. You can do a trade. The trade's actually not that expensive. Mechanic it has it the skier. I'm all over the place right now, but you can definitely buy it flat out. For 304. And then he also has the uh, silencer for it if you want to go in silent. Don't need to. You can throw that on there. Uh, go with my, my go to the MRS. And you're pretty much set there. You can throw. Um, a light on it as well with this grip. It already has the rails built in. So it's the same grip from tier one, the sheer fire. And the only difference is the RK4, which the RK4 you get from um, skier two. So you can go to skier, skier two, and you can get the Zenit RK4. So that's the, pretty much it. I still run the AKMs and the VPOs. Only difference is I just change this out. Helps out a little bit. So another, my probably my favorite budget run is RFB because it shoots the 762 by 51. Only downfall in the beginning is you can get all, you can get that ammo at level two from Skier. That's the BCP FMJs. Still a 308 round. Still hits fairly decent, but it's not like getting hit with m80 or m62 m61 but early wipe it should be fine if you get up to tier two quick you should be able to run these because once you hit tier three you, you don't really unlock a whole lot from him so you're gonna have to hit tier three with peacekeeper to unlock the m80 and then um once you get good old Jaeger up to level three or level two you can unlock the 30 millimeter scope mount and the Burris and you just put it on there and you throw it right on the gun only downfall with the RFB is you can't put a, uh, a tactical device on it early there's only one way to do it and it's with the RN 30 mil uh, rail, uh, sight rail to put the scope on because you could put the raptor on top and the raptor has a laser 
but this is a very good tier 2 trader build. And then you can buy these mags from Mechanic Tier 2. And they just drop right in. And then the last one that I do, so I forgot to add another thing. Once I unlock Tier 2, I use the ult mags on the AKs. Get them from Skier 2. They're really cheap. Hold 30, put them in AKM, and you can just dump all day with PS. And then the last build is the Hunter. The Hunter is a very good semi auto gun. I prefer the RFB over it, but the Hunter also has the same rounds. Throw whatever you want on it. You can throw this sight from uh, Propor level 1, and then you get this from. Jaeger too. It's a little cheaper than RFB. This doesn't have the versatility as the RFB. RFB you can use up close a lot better than you can the VPO. But those are the two tier one, tier two traders. Those are my go-to builds early on. Helps me get through all my tasks, PvP, with no issues. Have your occasional desync and stuff like that, but these these guns hit pretty well for early on white. But that's all I have for the tier one, tier two traders, early white gun builds. Uh, I hope you like it. You can catch me live on uh, Pusha TV slash Cedric GG. I usually try and stream there at 8 a.m., 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, you can hop in there, ask questions. Happy to help anything you need. Alrighty. I hope you all have a very good early early wipe when wipe happens. And hope to see you in there. Take care.